hello family welcome back to my channel if you are new on this channel welcome thanks so much for joining us today i'm Jeannie and on my channel i do makeup videos i do natural hair videos as well and i vlog once in a while so this video i'm going to show you how to make your own diy shampoo first off you're going to need an empty bowl and next you're going to need water so in this diy i prefer to use rice water instead of plain water so i did this rice water last night and i'm going to drain the water and use that water to make today's shampoo i'm also going to add some jamaican black castor oil i'm going to add some sesa oil which contains ayurvedic properties which are very very good for your natural hair and lastly i'm going to add some coconut oil the black soap you are going to use today african black soap i got this from my local market you can get this all around it's all around and most of the times it's in a brown paper i'm going to show you that in a minute but it's in a brown paper and this is what we are going to use here is in a brown paper like this and this is what we are going to use for our black soap shampoo let's get into the preparation first i'm going to drain the rice water into the bowl next i'm going to boil this water because we are going to use hot or warm water for this process this is just going to aid us in dissolving the black soup for the next step we are going to cut our african black soap into pieces this is also going to help in dissolving because if you're going to leave the whole black soap a bulky one in the water it's going to take a very very long time to dissolve so we are going to cut this into pieces in the bowl and this is how that looks like so the next step we're going to add our boiled rice water into the bowl So a little disclaimer here for this step you have to add very little or minimum water because if you add so much water to the mixture your shampoo will end up being very watery and you don't want that you want to see a little thickness in the in the shampoo so you have to use minimum water now you're going to leave the solution to sit for about an hour or two it depends on how much time you have on your hands but you're going to leave it to sit so that the african black soap can dissolve in the water this is how the final solution looks like and i went ahead to sieve the whole solution because you know these are locally produced african soaps may have certain particles in them so i used a net to sieve the whole solution After I transferred everything back into the bowl again and I moved on with the next step. For the next step, I'm going to add my oils and I'm going to start with the sesa oil. This contains Ayurvedic properties which are very good for your hair. It nourishes your scalp, it strengthens your hair follicles, it moisturizes your hair. It's very, very good. I incorporated it started incorporating it in my natural hair regimen not long ago and i really love it but it has a very strong smell so you want to maybe add certain oils um, that will tone down the smell or the scent of the sesa oil next i added some coconut oil and lastly i added my jamaican black castor oil 
Jamaica black castor oil needs no introduction guys this oil it's the truth guys it thickens your hair it strengthens your hair roots it really really helps to replenish every nutrient that your hair has lost it's very very good guys and it also helps with the color of your hair if your hair is becoming brownish and all that it's look, losing its black color you can use jamaican black castor oil it also really helps with that this is how our shampoo looks right now and the final step i'm going to transfer it into a container so this is my we naturals black shampoo black soap shampoo container if you are not on this channel you know i've been using we naturals for some time now i ran out of the shampoo and so i'm going to use the container but first i'm going to take off this sticker and then transfer my diy shampoo into it that's it for today's video guys a diy african black soap shampoo very simple process but very potent and effective i'm going to use this shampoo in my wash day routine and that will be in the next video so if you want to know my review about my own shampoo then stick on my channel and i'll bring you that video very soon thanks so much for watching this video if you learned a thing or two kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe stay blessed i love you bye